Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome back to Passive Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Scorpio, this is going to be your weekly read, as promised, uh, for your sun, your moon, your rising. And I am going to throw in your Venus placement as well on this one. Um, there's been a lot of stuff that's been popping up in regards to the planetary alignments and shifts and whatnot. And pardon me, there's something, something there. I don't know. Um... And I feel like it's important that we throw that into the mix. And I will tell you, I'm doing this later in the evening. I'm not being super loud, so you may have to turn up the volume on your device. I want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented to the channel. Thank you all so much. I enjoy engaging with each and every single one of you. For those of you who have donated, thank you so very much again for that. And those of you who have booked personal reads, I'm always excited to open up that email and touch base with all of you. So thank you for all the ways you support, love, and communicate with me. So thank you very, very much. Scorpio, we're just going to get straight to it here, see what's going on this week. This is the week of the 23rd, right? We just had the, the autumn equinox here in the States, um, depending on where you are. I know there's a lot of different things that move around and I'm not familiar with them. So my apologies on that. But um Let's get to it. Let's see what's going on, Scorps. Let's see what's uh, happening this week. It's going to take us into September 29th, right? Um, Spirit just said there's a feeling of release. So that's that's good, right? We've had some heavy, heavy readings, it seems like. Magician in the mirror, Scorpio. I got the chills. I love it. I love this for you. I do feel like the energy is lifting. It's becoming a little more, Spirit is saying, transparent to you as to what's to come blossoming abundance Scorpio and community I'm going to tell you right now this week you could find yourself really connecting to other people in ways that you have not before this feels um, overall good I think finances are probably looking pretty decent in the overall energy you know it's you're alchemizing the life that you want for yourself this week and I think that it's again I, got, I don't know if you can see it but I got the bumps all over me um, but you're alchemizing that energy this week for yourselves and um, you're taking that that water energy, that fire energy, it's passion, it's desire, it's brewing up a storm. Um, spirit saying patience is required though. So let's see what else for Scorpio this week. <laughs> I just said, did I not say like a storm brewing or however I worded that? There's the storm warning Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> and blossoming abundance and the crown chakra Scorpio your intuitive senses this week could really be on par you could be getting excessive downloads as to what is to come there are things to spirit said that may not make complete sense if you are dreaming you may get up and remember parts parts of your dream and not everything or it may feel like deja vu is happening as well uh amulets could be very important to um sleeping with crystal stones uh moonstone is really good for dream recall to help you with your dreams it brings in a peaceful night's sleep mm. excuse me um but this is um you know it's like sleeping with something that is going to aid you in re in recall with that so <clears throat> something something good here scorpio is happening um i feel a little two-sided because like this ore is standing out on the storm uh the words of the storm itself um scorpio i think that part of this is you are opening up to um power i don't think there are people around you this week that realize just how damn powerful you truly are and you walking in silence, you just doing what you do could be invoking some fear in others underneath the door to value, your root chakra energy, happy family, happy home life, right? It's like happy, what do they say? Happy life or happy wife, happy life. There we go. Um, and then doors to romance, like Scorpio, feeling good, knowing you're good, feeling stable, feeling grounded. Um, feeling like everything is like flowing in in a set of abundance. The numbers 31 and 33 could be very important. This eight is what has gone around, has come back around, and it's finally your time here, Scorpio. And I feel like as we move into October, leaning into Scorpio season, this is a pre-shadow phase to what is to come for you. 
um, I, this storm morning again, I feel like there's two sides to this. There's two cards, three cards with the or, O-R. O and R could be very important in some regard as well. It could stand out for something. This could also be the reverse. Somebody could be mirroring some sort of energy back to you. Um, I'm hearing, do I let them whatever, or do I take that first plunge, make that first move, whatever that's about too. So there's something brewing, Scorpio, within your home life, your stability, your family, your money, career, finances, manifestations that are coming. Um, you know, there's two doors here, two doors and windows of opportunity as well. One in regards to money, career, your stability, foundations, and then emotionally opening up doors for you as well. So this is a, a deep connection to things around you that, that are very meaningful. Um, it's, it's weird to see, it sounds so strange, it's weird to see positive, <laughs> I'm going to say positive, but positive energy coming in. Not that you guys get bad readings because you don't, but <clears throat> to see you in a more stable place of, you know, what's golden, what's, what's lovely is... Uh, it's a nice change of pace for you all. You're always like fighting, fighting off, fending off things. All right, Magician in the Mirror Spirit, give me a card for that. Tranquil Waters and Reflection. Scorpio, I think that you've gone through this period of time, and we've talked about this in the past, um, where you have you have fought off those demons. There we go. Danger lurks, treacherous paths. You know, you, you know, recharging your batteries after, you know, dealing with maybe institutions, banking issues, financial problems, governments, you know, ties, restrictions, uh, people telling you how you're supposed to live your life, perilous realm was people hanging out in the background looking to like get at you, Scorps, right? They're like a bunch of like gremlins in the background coming at you. And despite all of these challenges that you have faced, finding peace in yourself, and it's weird with this because this fog is sitting here and I forget, it might have been Libra that I read for, um, there was a lot of fog in, in those cards. And here, Scorpio, it's like the fog is finally lifting. You're finally able to just see more than beyond like a quarter of a mile in front of your face. Like the visibility is getting much brighter than it was in the past. Um, but I feel like the darkness is, is coming like the light is coming in after this period of darkness with this energy, with this magician in the mirror, the tranquil waters and reflection. Um, there, there's a lot of water energy here, Scorpio. Um, some of you could be near the water, being by the water as well. Uh, this is also reflecting on things like your love life, your, your family life, your home life, your finances, and finally getting to a place that you just feel good and at peace with where things are, where you're not struggling or fighting to to make things happen. It's just like I finally can take a moment and breathe, e spirit, even if it is only two days, and just enjoy where you are in, in things. So what is this storm morning about for Scorpio? Comfortable space. All right, Scorpio, would it be a Scorpio reading without something crazy? Um... <clears throat> The living room card, which is about our comforts, our family. Some of you could really be doing a spirit of saying chapter review on family and friends. This could be yet another clearing Scorpio of the people that are in your life and um, just going, do they really serve a purpose? What, what purpose are they serving to me? Even in your work, and I think in work, you know, if you all are working in groups of people, cubicles, office space, um, it's almost like, you remember, I think it was the movie, I think the movie was Office Space, right? Where the guy, I can't remember his name on there, it's been so many years ago now, but he had his own cubicle and he had a stapler and he was the outcast, right? Like, they shoved him in a corner and nobody wanted anything to do with him and I remember... Like, he said something in that movie, like, all the time, and I can't remember what it is now. Um, but it's kind of how I feel about this, because it's like, when you go into this place, you may not be super comfortable with certain people or certain situations, uh, you know, and it's like <clears throat> needing to get in your own zone, Scorpio, and do your own thing. Some of you are meant to be working alone, working on projects that are solo, 
um, creative endeavors that are just yours, right? It's like, not that you all don't work well in groups, because I think you do, but what you're able to accomplish <clears throat> when the outside distractions are gone becomes very different. It's like, you know, you may not be one that needs to be micromanaged and reviewed on the regular basis. It's like, just let me go in and do my job. Um, but it's funny because I feel like when I look at these cubicles, like it's, I see you like kind of coming up out of your chair, <clears throat> excuse me, and like peering out along the way and going, is there anybody even here? Like it may feel like the people around you are going in like a robotic, weird fashion and you're like, am I the only one that breathes, breathes life here? It, it, it's a crazy energy that comes in with that. Um, but I also think that for some of you, um, boy, Scorpio, I feel like you're questioning the morals, ethics, the principles of the people that you are around in relation to your work, potentially in relation to your family life and going, does this hold value for me? Um, this is, you know, coming home and feeling like you need to recharge, you need to like find your groove and things. You may be burning the candle at both ends between work and home at this time and needing that time to just kind of reground yourself like you are coming and grounded. But I feel like these interactions that you're having with other people may be draining you to some extent. And through that, you know, you think about it, that that funnel cloud that's on the storm morning, that funnel cloud pulls the water up out of the ocean. It pulls the water up out of the lakes. It drains those things. So it creates this chaos. And to me, you could be dealing with people around you this week that do drain your energy, right? They come in and they, it's like they suck the life out of you, unfortunately, but there you are. Um, and it's like needing to go home and recharge. Spirit is also saying to make sure that you are, um, when like it's like separating work and home, that when you go home, you leave work at work and when you're home, you, that's, that's where you are, right? That's, it's being present and aware giving insight to the things that are important to you. Some of you could be revamping homes and space, making them more um, more peaceful, more tranquil, more relaxing, more of that place. It's like you always want home to be a place of peace. That, that is your sanctuary. And um, so some of you may be working on the lighting or spending time writing in some area where there's a certain space of light that comes in in a way. Um, because it, I feel like things have felt restrictive for a little while for you, and that needs to change. Um, some of you could be, I don't, I don't know this for certain, but it's like it reminds me of um, you know, like how, how hospitals have chapels. I, I do believe that prisons have chapels as well. I don't really know or jails, um, but it feels like somebody could be visiting a chapel in, a, in an institution of sorts or something, whether it's a jail or rehab facility or something to that effect too. But this is um, reminding yourself what brought you here. And um, it's, how do I put this? Um, I don't think that it's you so much maybe that's there. Um, I mean, maybe you're dealing with somebody there. I mean, it could be you, right? I got people from all over the world and all different cultures that reach out to me. Um, but this is um, looking looking for a new light, looking for a new dawn, learning how to let things go. Uh, I, I've got this picture of um, Allah, and I keep being drawn to that right now. Like, and Allah is sitting in the place of peace and namaste and... Um, just trying to find equilibrium and balance and letting the outside uh, distractions go is how that feels to me. It's like you could have people around you right now, Scorpio, that are trying to compete with you, whether it's for attention and love, whether this is in your work, this is people just keeping an eye on you, wondering how you're moving and doing what you're doing. Um, and it's not that you're, you are aware, right? I think you are fully aware of this but you're unbothered by this. It's like, I've seen this before and I have too many things to be grateful for, thankful for, to let, I can't say that spirit, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> to let, um, we'll call them low vibrational people 
come in and mess up the vibe that you got going on right now, okay? So what is this door to romance for Scorpio this week, Spirit? Uh, Scorpio, somebody wants to work on something, repair something with you. Uh, they feel... <clears throat> if you've been having relationship issues, family issues, it may feel like somebody wants to come in, I'm going to call it out of the cold, and work on... As I say that, there comes the Frigid Realms card. you got to be kidding me. Like, they want to kind of pull their self out of this cold extreme that they've been in with you. Um, that's going to be for some of you. For others of you, you may feel like people around you are trying, are starting to give you more care. Or they're watching you just give yourself more care. Like, they're, they're watching you do more for you. Um, for those others, spirit. Um... Spirit just, oh, Scorpio, I don't know who you've got around you, but they feel, oh, what is this? Man, they've made, okay, here we go. This would not be a Scorpio read without, six, 16, 16 on the clock. This would not be a Scorpio read without something like this. Scorpio, you've got somebody blocked, restricted, um, keeping communication to a minimum, uh, they could feel like they, 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 you're more than an arm's length or length. Oh my, I can't talk today. I swear to gosh. Um, you're more than an arm's length away from them. Um, Scorpio, I think you're dealing with a couple of people in this, in this way. So this could be family, love relationships. Maybe you're dating, you know, checking out your options, which is totally cool. Um, but there's something about this that's like you're good you're good on your own you're good doing your thing um some of you could be receiving phone calls from from a uh, institution as well but this is um oh what is, i don't know we need to dig into that hold up that's that fueling station keeps coming in scorpio make sure you're keeping um tabs on who you're dealing with like, are they coming in and draining your energy? And like, I really want to, what the hell do they want from you? Um, you're going to have to be, be aware of this. This, this is spirit. People are using you like the express lane at the 7-Eleven. Like, oh my gosh, what is this? Yeah, it's like, they're coming in. Like, this could be people too that like come in drain you of your energy like they get their fill of you and then they like you know they take in everything from you and then they're out the door again you know call them fuck boys right fuck girls whatever like they come in just to get enough just to get enough and then they're out the door and then you could feel blocked or the other way you know around like they're feeling blocked or you've had to block this person um, like, it, but I, I get this feeling, Scorpio, like somebody wants to punish you. Like, I know, right? Why? Like, what the hell does that do for anybody here exactly? But this is like <clears throat> somebody too withholding love, withholding kindness, withholding generosity. Um, this could be a past lover, a past friend, a past family member that you no longer associate with anymore. Like... They're a bit wicked. I want to dive into this. <clears throat> All right, Spirit. Who is this person that's feeling some kind of way about Scorpio right now? What is this? Spirit, I just heard you. It says you've met. They said you met me before. You've met me before. Um, Ace of Wands. There you go. Like there's some action. There's some potential. You may have crossed paths with this person and like you don't even know it. Um, Ten of Pentacles. What is this? What is this, Scorpio? Who is this person? The devil. Swear to heavens, you can't make it up. You cannot make this shit up. There it is. Um, <clears throat> the Three of Cups. Scorpio, somebody, I'm going to tell you, if this is work, love, it doesn't matter what this is. This person, once again, like, I just want to go... Cross watcher. If you're watching for Scorpio and you are doing this, 
what in the actual fuck? Like, find, like, with all due respect and love, find something else to do. For real. Like, this is crazy. Like, can Scorpio just get a love reading or a happy reading or a money reading and just be good? Like, just let him be. Let him be. Um, <clears throat> this person, Scorpio, like, they're, they're in it for all the wrong reasons. And, you know, it's like they're, they're constantly in the space of wanting to recruit. <laughs> recruit other people going... I've got this master plan. Cheers to to our game plan. Here we eight, eight of pentacles behind that. Cheers to our goals. You be my lookout. You be my watch out. You you know you you help me you know get the scoop. Find out what's going on. Act nice. Play nice. Like again, cross watcher. Scorpio is probably the most intuitive sign in the Zodiac. If a Scorpio has ever looked at you and said, I am intuitive, I am aware, I get downloads, I talk to spirit, my angels, my guides, God, whatever, and you, for any second, for whatever reason, think that you can pull some shit over on a Scorpio, they know what you are doing before you do it. Like, that thought enters your mind and they instantly feel the energy shift. Just knock it off. Go bark up another tree. Like, seriously. I just, I don't get it. I, I don't think I will ever get the, that low-lying energy. And I'm going to tell you, like, even if your family life is good, this could be at work. If this isn't work, this could be a friend. If this isn't a friend, this could be family. This could just be some random Joe neighbor down the street who has an issue because he doesn't like the way your car sounds when you're driving home. Like, unbelievable. The level of just ridiculousness, Scorpio, of these people. Like, get a hobby. Holy shit. What does this devil want with Scorpio? What do they want? To disrupt your peace. They want to disrupt your peace, Scorpio. Like, what is this person's issue? Ugh. <sighs> Scorpio, you could have really put this person out in the cold at some point. Like, you just had had enough of, of whatever, whoever this is. And at that point, it's like, I'm just done with you. Now, I'm going to tell you, too, if this is a work environment, you're going back into the snake pit every day. You know, it's you you, you learning how to keep your, keep your chill, right? Keep your cool. How's Scorpio handling this spirit? Queen of Swords make sure temperance look your your ability to respond or i'm going to say to not even respond to these people is showing your your magnificent growth this week uh you want to keep yourself in check right like archangel michael coming in it's like this oh scorpio the tower you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius by the way um i think this person gives you i think you're you're fully aware of no spirit saying scorpio you're hard to read 23 23 on the clock you're hard to read like you could come in plain face resting bitch face whatever still be in a completely fabulous mood but without showing it and this person is like where is scorpio i need to i need to gauge where scorpio is today so i know how much fuckery i can get away with right and <clears throat> Scorpio, I think this this tower and the six of wands, this is you having victory and peace and leaving these people out to dry and disappointing them, honestly. That's how this feels to me. Because you have a choice. Like you, It's like, I can stay or I can go. I don't need to be here. Right? Like, there's always going to be another job. There's always going to be another person that I can connect with. There's always going to be the fact that I can build my own family. I don't need this bloodline shit, right? There's more friends. You're not the only friend I have. Like, you recognize that you have choices. And this person isn't really very keen on that. And you're looking at this going, is this worth my energy? Is this worth my effort? Um, star, Aquarius energy, three of swords. You're familiar with the heartbreak and pain of these kinds of people <clears throat> from the past. And you're healing that. Again, this is like kudos to the healing work that you're doing. 
Scorpio, there are people out there <coughs> around you also, the flip to this, is there are people out there around you who see your magnificent potential. And it's learning for you to decipher who's genuinely got your back and who doesn't. It's finding a whole new tribe. Um, I really do think that you have caused this person some sort of pain. Um, you're going to piggyback off of that closure re reading that I did a couple of days ago. Um, this is judgment. You've made judgment a judgment call. That Queen of Swords, that Six of... Uh, the Six of Lovers, yeah. The Lovers card, that Six. The Star and the Three of Swords, that Star and the Three of Swords is 20. That's judgment. You had to make a judgment call on something. And it was probably to leave this person out in the cold. You don't maybe react to this person. You don't engage with this person. You could have blocked this person. And it's like they're trying to come at you. They're trying to get it to you. They're trying to poke you. It's like that, that burr, right? Like, it's just stuck to your tennis shoelace and it's annoying as hell. Um, that's what this person or this situation is for you. Um, it's a nuisance. It's an annoyance. And it's like you, you've you realized through that difficulty as normal, Scorpio, how not to have to do this, right? You, you're learning that. So whoever you're dealing with this week, they're like a pesky gnat. They really are. Scorpio, this magician in the mirror, tranquil waters, more water, ace of cups, love, self, love, giving, nurturing, being happy and manifesting, appreciating all the great things you have, page of pentacles, you could be getting some job offers, news around jobs, money, career, finance as well. This is bringing in a sense of long overdue peace, spirit is saying this is also transformation that is coming in for you. Uh, the hangman, getting a new perspective. Spirit is saying getting a new perspective about yourself. Like you may be starting to see yourself in a much more um, comfortable and confident manner going, you know, I, I did this. It's like looking at your accomplishments. Um, you know, maybe you've painted a room as an example, right? And just going, you know, I've been thinking about doing this for the last three years and I finally did it. I love the way this looks. It feels so good to me. And eight of wands, like, or the seven of wands, like, um, like these, these feats that you're accomplishing probably felt like they were seven, I'm going to say seven miles away, seven years away, lifetimes away. Um, but it's like, you see what you've built. You're seeing the work that you've put in. You're seeing the effort of the long term. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this long term energy from the seven of wands, but you have built something that's going to last. You are building something that is going to last here. And, you know, you're recognizing your own metamorphosis in this and giving yourself the props that you deserve for getting to where you are. The Nine of Swords, it's, it's, been, a, it's been an exhausting battle, right? It's been a mental toll. It's, you know, dreams, too. Be careful uh, to pay attention to the premonitions that you may be getting. Um, that may even be stressing you out this week. There is some stress here. As much as there is peacefulness, there is some sort of stress that comes in with this. So this could be... Scorpio being the perfectionist that you can be setting your, you know, your sights higher and higher on the next thing. And it's like, you're, are you giving yourself time to enjoy what you have created uh, to date, right? Just enjoying what you have for cups. Like you may not fully be seeing how much you have put your best foot forward and done the damn thing. So, you know, give yourself, that's a self-worth, self-value thing. Um, and give yourself the props that you deserve for the accomplishments that you've made. Some of you could be feeling a little like, I'm here to go to stay. Is it enough? Is it not enough? So it's like, you know, weighing out the scales and we're moving into Libra season. We are in Libra season and deciding like, is this really balanced for me? Like, am I, am I balancing my emotions? You need to balance your emotions this week, period. Uh, four of wands. Again, like you could just be retreating home. I was looking at the center space here. Retreating home. Um, what is the storm warning about, Spirit? What is the storm warning about? <clears throat> oh, look, this fell out over here. I'm going to take it there because that's where it landed. The world card, successful completion, Scorpio, four, four of wands on the bottom again. Um, you know, something around home. This could be remodeling projects, cleaning things up. Um, starting something new, making a new routine in your home. Everybody's happy. Everybody's cared for. Dinner's done before midnight, right? Like just feeling like 
things are good and it's I think you've spent so much time on edge that you don't know how to just be chill with it because it's always the next thing right Scorpio we got to keep moving um, it's okay to just slow down and count your blessings and breathe because the more that we do that the more we are in a better space and alignment with what it is we are working towards in the future so you know yes work right like we have to be co-creators with the universe but it's also okay to just go I need a good night's rest so make sure you know some of you could be having a hard time sleeping right now uh the knight of cups with the storm morning Scorpio you could you could have oh boy you got three people around you here Scorpio knight of cups knight of pentacles page of pentacles queen of wands that's four. Oh golly um, Scorpio, what is going on? Like, I don't always see the court cards as people, even though that's what they are, um, <clears throat> around you. But I get this, this sense of thievery from a feminine energy surrounding you. It's almost like, what can I pickpocket from Scorpio? So, you know, Watch your purse, watch your wallets, lock your vehicles, make sure your home is secure. Um, because you could be dealing with somebody that's stealing. And I said, it's like, it's like somebody's on, didn't I say this earlier? There's like somebody on the lookout with that three of cups, right? Look at like, oh, I wish I could move the camera. Okay. It's like this. It's like this, Scorpio. All right. Check it out. Give me one second here. I'm going to try to do my very best to hold these up, right? So they're laying on the table like such. Whoops, hold up. There's that one, right? Pickpocketing some shit. There's that guy. There's this gal. This dude's got his bag of loot, right? Look here. Keeping Scorpio distracted. Or keeping an eye out for everything else going on. And I know my fingers are in the way there. But, I mean, you see... Here, let's just do it this way. I'm trying to show it to you the way I see it on the table. That's all. There you go. There's your three fools. Well, it's like it's like the it's like the three stooges Scorpio. Which idiot's gonna do the dumbest thing and get caught? Um, two of Swords. Like somebody here has made some really, really shitty decisions. Okay, for some of you. So, Scorpio, be. Be mindful. Somebody could also be tipping you off this week as to um, what someone else is doing. I feel like these two, this Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, they give me family familial vibes. Um, I think someone is leaving this situation as well, but I also think they have a knowledge of... Um, knowledge of what these other two are doing uh with that storm warning like they're trying to disrupt the peace it's you know there could be like a disturbance of the peace kind of call in your your neighborhood somebody could be vandalizing churches or something which was really horrible i would hope not but there it is um they just gives me some really skeezy kind of vibes and i will say too for some of you not all of you discern accordingly this um knight of cups they could be a little emotionally manipulating to Scorpio because it's like they're a part of this trio, right? So they could kind of be playing both sides of the fence where they come to you and they act all buddy, buddy and nice and chill. And then they're going back and reporting or having like this weird exchange with these other two. Um, Queen of Wands to me it is... You've just got, you've got, you've definitely got two people here without a conscience. Okay, let's just shoot straight. And um, this Knight of Cup and Queen Queen of Wands, like I feel like they're tied somehow. You could have an, I, I don't want to say that an older feminine figure. I mean, could be for some of you. But I feel like this, if this is a work situation, this could be just an older, could be an older woman doesn't have to be right but this person maybe has like time invested 
in something or they like to lead the pack. They like to assert themselves if they, they've got some position that they really don't. Um, in their mind, it's kind of like a made up theory. <clears throat> so this Knight of Cups, you know, this could be somebody that also reports back to her as well. I'm just using her, right? You know, tarot is, there's no genders necessarily. But uh, I think you're getting tired of any kind of gameplay, which I've seen for you for a while um, in regards to this kind of stuff. So it's, you know, I think you need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to protect your peace with this church and the living room coming out sideways. Um, I think you have a lot of options coming in for you in the near future, whether this is work, love, whatever. Um, it's, it's removing yourself from people that are just on their high horse. Um, hmm, what is, how does this fall out into this? Scorpio, I will say too, for some of you, you could have a, an option of suitors. Um... This could also be a feminine energy with three children who is learning how to put themselves back out there again. Uh, that's going to be for some of you, not all of you. Um, hmm. What is this? What is this storm warning about, Spirit? Shock. Look, we basically got three towers in this middle row. Three situations, Scorpio. Um... Mm, what is coming to light here? You know, I don't really do love readings, right? <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Um, but Scorpio, for some of you, that Queen of Wands, man, she's she's beautiful. In her in her good stuff, man, she's she's beautiful. She's assertive. She's on fire. She's sexy. Um, she she she's got the shit man she she's rolling in it and you you could be turning heads right now scorpio <laughs> like someone is looking at you like the love of their life and i don't think that they're meaning to fall in love with you and if this person at some point proclaims this love i don't think you're gonna know what to do i don't think you're gonna know what to say um because I think for a lot of you, commitment has been off the table for a very long time, especially if you're single now. Um, or the idea of getting out of something like, do I ever want to have to commit to something like this again? But the idea of commitment has, has taught you, like, that's where you get used. That's where you get abused, right? Uh, what is the shock about for Scorpio? Yeah, see, it's like, you're I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Zaj. Carrying... Um, Past mistakes forward, past lessons forward. And, you know, yes, bring those lessons forward so you protect your peace. But also know that there's a new life that awaits you. Um, I, I'm going to say, Scorpio, two to three weeks out, I think you're going to have a better understanding of what this means. If you're, I don't even know that you're looking for love. I think it's just someone kind of pops in, pops up. There could be a couple people that pop in and pop up. Um, and another thing to that spirit is saying, too, is jealousy that other people are watching you get this attention and this love and this this good stuff and that irritates the piss out of somebody right so um like i don't know it's like scorpio somebody wants to be where you are it's like what was that uh was that ariel i want to be where the people are all these people are going i want to be where scorpio is like <laughs> it's that kind of thing right now all right what else what about this magician in the mirror spirit Look, the engagement ring card just came back out sideways, narcissistic. Um, Scorpio, some of you could be re being reminded by certain traits or something of, of what those narcissists look like. You could even be like kind of comparing people to that kind of energy, right? It doesn't have to be a narcissist. It could just have been a bad experience. Uh, and there it is, competition and energy. The other woman looked over your shoulder. Scorpio, you could be coming into union with somebody too, uh, even when you least expect it. And people are looking at you, spirit, upon introduction and feeling some kind of way. You know, you could be at a party or somewhere and somebody, a friend introduces you to, a, you know, their friend or what have you. 
and there's an instant connection, you know, your eyes lock and you're like, oh, oh boy, like you just kind of know something's up, right? And other people just see it and instantly there's like this jealousy factor or oh shit or you know whatever this is but there is some kind of um connectedness or awareness to oh this soul looks familiar to me in some way so there's there's a lot of little information in here for all of you i think in different ways this magician in the mirror spirit yeah scorpio this is you know, some of you may be really planning on, you know, following your passions, your dreams, and wondering how that's going to give back to you, what it's going to look like, how fruitful it's going to be. Um, I, I really feel like the uncertainty of something is the hardest thing for you. Like, you still feel like you have to stand guard. I don't think you do. <laughs> I really don't think that you do. Um, this is just an old mechanism of training the brain to be in survival. And I don't think you're there anymore. It's just like, let yourself open up to uh, spirit saying, lowering those defenses and being open to receive and give. Because it is something that, you know, it's long, it is long past you for you. You're due to have this. Um, what is this story of value? Scorpio, you have fought damn hard damn hard to get where you are and I don't think that a lot of people understand like the grit the sacrifice the aloneness and all of those things that come with um how you've gotten to where you are and what you have a story to tell about is the fact of how you've had to learn how to love yourself how you've had to learn to accept yourself for exactly who you are to uh, give yourself that time and space to heal to Give yourself the appreciation and respect that you deserve again for the things that you have accomplished. When we go back to the beginning of this reading, like you have committed yourself to stable foundations. And I think the idea of commitment to anything outside of that is very scary because you remember what that can be like when you commit to things outside of you that you have no control over. Um, so there's that t controlling Scorpio way, right? We're a fixed sign, like no judgment here, but we do. We like to have control of our circumstances and know what's coming, but Again, Pluto and Aquarius, this is all about the unknown and being comfortable as those things unfold, whether we have any intellect on it or not. So it's an adjustment period, period Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so you, I feel like you're, you're a little all over the place this week, but, um, and I think that if there is somebody coming in for you, for those of you in that situation, um, you're not, you could seem cold. You could seem a little detached. <clears throat> you may be, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> super excited, um, to take a chance on something or nervous to take a chance on something. And you may leave that space of meeting that person and call your best friend and be like, oh my God, guess what? He was so handsome and, and she was so pretty. And that's all I can think about. But you're not going to let them know that. You're, you are not going to show them that at any point you've become weak in the knees. You just, business as usual, Scorpio, business as usual. All right, let's wrap this up, Spirit. What else does Scorpio need to know in regards to this? Business as usual, Scorps. Oh, look at that. Divine Matrix in the reverse. Uh, Scorpio. You're getting off of the rat, the rat wheel. <clears throat> You're getting out of the gameplay. You know, you are, you know, looking to become that co-creator with the universe. You see through, you see, it is what it is. Like you, you're seeing through, um, the illusions, the deceptions, the perceptions of other things. 4404 on the clock uh, is there's the 44. Look at that. Um, it's, this is a foundational, like I'm seeing the fours with the four of wands. So your four foundations. Um, but it is what it is, right? Like, it's almost like you, you're, you're accepting this time space reality as, how do I put this? Um, you've walked this path and you've seen both sides of something. I call it 3D, 5D, honestly. Um, 
and you realize there are things about people that you just have to find acceptance of and situations you may have to find acceptance of and people that aren't willing to see things for what they are um you're getting ready scorpio i talked about that 3d 5d like this to me for this divine matrix in the reverse is that 3d energy this time machine i don't know why i'm seeing it as a portal to the gateway of the future but i feel like it is and i feel like you're kind of being warped into that space of that 5d energy and spending more time in that sort of energy and those downloads and the awareness and it's creating the space of healing for you where this this doorway before was blocked maybe by connections with other people addictions codependencies whatever it might be but bringing this to a successful completion for yourself and now giving yourself the humble accolades and i think that's the thing scorpio a lot of you have run through things in a very humble way maybe you've told your story but still stay you know it's like i'm still who i was 20 years ago it's like you know they tell people when they become famous like just always remember your roots remember where you came from and um i think you've stayed in that energy regardless of the good or the bad or the people that you've left behind you know it, it just gives me that kind of feel this great big love scorpio i think that all the love that you've given out to the world even people that were not you know necessarily deserving of it um, it's starting to come back around to you now. This could be in forms of friendship. This can be in forms of romantic partnerships. This could be a rekindling of family units that were, you know, just had fallen apart and went their ways, separate ways for a while. This is ancestral healing and lineage. Uh, this is you creating the, a world of magic. You know, that's the one, the one word that comes out for you guys here in the last couple of reads was magic. Like how magical you are. And I think that other people, again, you know, you may walk into a room, not have to say anything, and all eyes are on you. And you've got other people watching, you know, like, how does Scorpio do it? Like, what is it so, what's so appealing about Scorpio? Oh, my goodness. But that Queen of Wands in a burst of magic, like, she's dancing in her light. She's living her best life, right? And for these doors to romance spirit, what is this for Scorps? A tall tale. Oh, my God, you're so sick of dealing with liars. See? <laughs> Oh my god, I snorted. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Scorpio, if you are dealing with a co-parent, um, a friend who did you wrong, um, I don't know. Just whoever in your world has just been stupid. Like there's, I don't even know what else to say to this. This tall tale with that devil card, Again, you've made your choices, you've made your bed lay in it. And I said, when I was on that row earlier, cross watcher, if you are watching, no, I'm not trying to be mean, but a Scorpio will know what you're doing before you do it. The minute you think about it, Scorpio's radar goes off. Look at this. Exposed and revealed and seeing beyond. There's that third eye perception. What came out with that? A tall tale. There's Pinocchio. The little wooden boy whose nose kept on growing. Right? Like, there it is. There's there's the fairy tale. You sold me a bullshit fairy tale dream. I see through it and I will forever see through it. And I can see it from a mile away. Like, I don't know who... Scorpio, you've got the, you know, your left eye is the eye to the soul. <laughs> and people could look you in the eye and like, Scorpio, you've got those dark, mysterious eyes. But it's like, there is that one eye that's got that little sparkle, that left eye has got that extra little mm to it. And I just, <laughs> spirit, I just heard, gotcha, bitch. Like. <laughs> You could catch somebody. You could catch somebody up in lies this week, Scorpio. Don't, do not blow a gasket. Whatever you do, like, you, you could look at this person and be like, let me tell you, like, Scorpio, put a cap on your stinger this week. I'm going to say this weekend, like Friday, Saturday, it feels like when this is kind of popping off a little bit because you there could be a buildup 
you know, the water being sucked into that funnel cloud all week where little things are kind of irritating you. And then that it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. You catch somebody lying, right? You catch somebody talking about you, like you just walk in in the middle of it and there it is. Like something just tells you, turn around and walk in that room and boom, you hear it. And you just stop and it's like, Scorpio, breathe before you react. Respond, don't react. Because I do think somebody's pressing your buttons. They think they're being really slick and they're, they're not. They're not at all. They, they're just being stupid right now. Oh, Scorpio, I don't know. I think you're, you're moving into a space where um, you're trying to focus, right? Like on all seriousness, like you're trying to focus on your next path forward. You're trying to focus on what you're manifesting. You're trying to focus on what you've built for yourself. Um, and you can feel a little like in between spaces trying to figure out what is the next move. And you're dealing with people like this that just don't have their shit together, really, at the end of the day. They're low vibe and energies. Um, you just you get you to the point where you just want to scream at them. There you go. It's like, and Scorpio, you could be like, you could go from like a real quick flip, though, too. That's the other thing. Like, I do think you're, for the most part, you're emotionally balanced. You're pretty chill. But they could really piss you off. Like, you could walk into one room deal with that, let them have it, which again, I would stifle yourself and then walk out in the other room and look at somebody else and be like, Hey, how's it going? Like that switch just flips with you. It's like, I'm here dealing with this right now. And now I've got to go home and deal with that or walk in the next room and deal with this on a, on a, a much more pleasant level. But you know, some of you could be flipping the script there on someone this week. So just be mindful, right? Like don't get, don't get crazy kind of thing. Scorpio, I'm going to bed. I'm done for the day. I wanted to get this out. I wanted to get your weekly read out. First opportunity I had today. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. Memberships are open, right? So those for those of you that don't know, memberships are open. There's two different tiers right now to pick from. I may put out another one. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, I'm starting to get some things together for that for you as well. Uh, posted a poll today on there for those of you that are part of the membership groups. And um, I appreciate all your love and support. I look forward to uh, the readings that I have with you all this week. I love you all so very much. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you again soon. Bye.